Hey, we're delving deeper into teaching number 16. So as we begin chapter 8, we encounter seven trumpets. Trumpets appear both in the Old and the New Testament. Trumpets were used to assemble the Israelites for worship, to announce feasts and holy days, to even call other folks to war, to battle. Such trumpets were used to call the people to gather. Now, during the wilderness uh, wanderings, a trumpet blast served as a command to break camp and start following the leader. On Mount Sinai, when the Ten Commandments were given, the sound of trumpets accompanied God's presence upon the mountain. Joshua had the people blow trumpets on the last day of their march around Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. You see, the sound of trumpets was a victory over their enemies. Now, the Feast of Trumpets marks the Jewish New Year and signifies a time of reflection and renewal. In the book of Ezra, about chapter 3, verse 10, it mentions trumpets being used during the rebuilding of the Second Temple. Well, in both Testaments, the trumpet signifies a call to repentance or a warning of impending judgment. Now, the Apostle Paul wrote that the second coming of Christ would begin with a trumpet blast. In Revelation 11, a trumpet sounds heralding God's ultimate victory in the consummation of the kingdom. So John in his vision sees seven trumpets, and they serve as a powerful symbol, reminding us, his readers, of God's presence, his judgment, and his ultimate victory. My friends, I am ready for the trumpet to sound.